Here we go. We are live on map two of this matchup. Radical taking a commanding lead in map one. And honestly, my expectation is that they'll probably do the same here. I'm gonna send a couple people over to Crossroads. Nope, that psycho is gonna run straight back to Vent and probably go up through Data Core. We have a couple going through Flight Control. A nice big group of four in Crevice. I have not seen this before. So many people. Dangio, the sole player over in Reactor Core, as that has not even been dropped for them yet. Oh my goodness, is this what I think it is? Yes, it is. There was a Lurk egg drop, a T-Res Lurk drop, because Shox is so damn good on that Lurk. And they're going to rely on him for the defense. Okay, that's good to know about first person. I will, in fact, you know what? While, while we're it's early on in the game and there's not much happening, let's take a look over here. Dangio gets absolutely destroyed by Psycho. Uh, I'm going to give you guys first person view of Shox because he's probably going to be getting most of the kills here. And we're going to see... I mean, it's a little laggy. Yeah, that's pretty laggy. And the thing is, I don't know why I'm not dropping any frames. I think it may just be the fact that it's 30 frames per second. Um, it's so weird. I'll try and get that guy that fixed up for you guys at a later date. Things once again not looking great for Cystitis at the start. Although shocks. Did lose that lurk. So that is going to be a big loss for Radical as it's going to delay Carapace um, because they got that lurk, that T res lurk early on. We do see that shotguns are already out. They were bought to handle that lurk. And so that's going to be a huge advantage uh, for Cystitis. If they can. If they can abuse that fact, uh, that they now know that Carapace is not going to be up for quite a while, they can easily turn this into a winning uh, opportunity. Although, look at this Psycho with a great move to come in behind through uh, Atrium and get that. RT, which was so low. And re these shotguns really are absolutely destroying Radical at this point. Uh, losing that T-Res Lurk is going to be a very, very big problem for them. They're going to have to play excessively conservatively uh, to hold on to the lead they have. They do have three RTs, and they are working on two more, uh, as that Sys Chain does get cut in Data Core. So that... that uh, Harvester there is going to be in trouble. Uh, we do see that Draco has now gone Lurk, though. Let's take a look at him, see what he sees. And yeah, man, that just uh, absolutely terrible frame rate. I don't understand. We do see a second chair going up in Crossroads. But there are so many, so many there. Oh, but without Carapace, this is going to be really hard. And Draco's very low on health. He's going to have to get out of there after getting absolutely nothing accomplished. And these shotguns are just tearing Radical to shreds. 
Shox has now gotten on his Lurk as uh, his T-Res Lurk. So since he did lose that T-Res Lurk earlier on, he's going to be a lot more careful with this one, I hope. Look at this push down into Computer Lab. is getting absolutely outflanked as Radical comes in from behind. Shock's able to get a kill on Don Gio, who is out in front. Uh, that is an ineffective push, and this is going to leave Crossroads absolutely wide open as there is no phase gate. It's going to be very difficult to reinforce. Foam is there. He's going to get a kill on, on Psycho, but Shox is going to come in as well. He gets nothing done on Foam. He's going to have to wait for the reinforcements. Allen gets taken out with a beautifully placed shotgun shot. Foam is just absolutely decimating this, this Radical team, although those two lurks are going to be just too much despite the nano shield. Uh, and this chair is probably going to go down very soon as Shox and Draco are going to defend against this three-man push that is coming in. Draco's going to go around behind. He's going to get a bite on, on Malice and a bite on Corpy. And he's going to try to go for Dangio. He's down to half health, so he's going to probably have to get out of there. Spacey is very low. Uh, as he comes in, he's going to get... Uh, nope. But Flex is going to take out Dangio, who's there to try and take him down. The armory has been built in Crossroads, so that's going to be a nice little reinforcement for for Cystitis. They really want to hold on to this. Carapace is done now, so that advantage uh, that they got from killing that early T-Res Lurk is gone. Really, uh, Niall Maka, that's good to know, because then that what that means is I can go in here and go to graphics and go to... Uh, ooh. It should be able to... What the heck? I don't think that's the case, as I did have um, I did have uh, VSync on, which would have locked it into 60, and my, my stream frames are at 30. So it should have been locked to match uh, at least, you know, halftime. Let me see if turning off... Um, so many lurks. Station under attack. Jox is going to do a great job of distracting Spacey as Alan and Flex come in to clean up. And that is probably going to be the end of this command chair. Yeah, they're going to go ahead and try and recycle it, but it's going to go down way too fast. There goes the command chair. Only 10 res lost. Not a big deal. Um, but the positioning, man, they're, they're, that's very true. Zenorik has, has said it exactly right in chat. Um, they are not pressuring nearly well enough. Um, let's see here. I'm gonna give it one more try in first person view. Ooh, that's a little bit better, I think. Nope. Not quite better enough. I think maybe 30 FPS on the stream is just not good enough. I mean, you're going to hear me, I'm not really commenting much right now, because, I mean, this is pretty straightforward. Uh, Radical has map control. Their lurks are absolutely decimating Cystitis. Cystitis did not take advantage of the, the T-Res lurk kill early on to, to use those shotguns and push really hard. They tried to take crossroads, um, which was a good idea, uh, but they needed to then put pressure elsewhere, because as a result of not putting pressure elsewhere on the map, um, then... Crossroads had all the pressure, and they were in a defensive position. You know, they had a huge advantage on the fact that they had these shotguns with no carapace. Um, now we see fades out, and there's the GG. Cystitis calling it. And I don't blame them.
because this is pretty much unmanageable at this point. So GG to Radical, they're 3-0 now.